Hey everyone, it's Michelle here back from Financial Hair and Faith and today I wanted to share something a little bit different with you guys. So I am on the road for a little road trip with my husband. He's doing a party tonight at a casino in Pennsylvania, which is two states away from where we live. And I wanted to share how it is that I maintain my hair while we're on the road. I don't take really long trips because of Christopher, but I do like to take these little one, two, three day trips where we stay in like a little kind of like in a hotel and you know obviously you gotta go to bed right so when I travel I travel very very light especially on these really quick trips I don't like to carry a lot I don't like to carry a lot of styling products so therefore what I do is I always embrace my wash and go the wash and go is so versatile it allows I don't have to do much to my hair at all so let me show you what I carry with me when I'm on these little quick trips. So I have this little bag, and as you can see, there's only three things in it. There's a little spray bottle, which I just put some water in it from home, from some filtered water. I have a little bit of almond oil. I don't need that much. And I have some edge control. And I also keep with me my satin scarf, of course, because Dry, laying on those cotton pillowcases is really not good for the hair, especially hair like mine that's very, very curly, very coily, and it can dry out very, very easily. So I have this type of scarf with me. And that is because when it's time for me to go to bed, what I will do is I will take and I will spritz my hair with water. Not much, just a misting. I will take some of this almond oil. Again, not very much, don't need much. Scrunch it into my hair. Use the praying hands method to distribute it. And that will be it for keeping my hair moisturized. Then what I'll do is, I found that using the pineapple method, while I can get some stretch, sometimes I get a little bit too much stretch because my hair is looser in the back. So what I will do is, I will take this scarf, I'll leave my ends out. I'll put this scarf on my head, like so. And I will tie my hair down underneath in the back. And that noise you hear, by the way, it's the fan in the bathroom here. I'm getting the best lighting here since it is, you know, not daylight. And I will tie this, keep this out in the back like that. Tie it around. Tie my hair. Tie my scarf underneath the back. Now, I know you're thinking, but your ends are going to be out and they're going to rub the pillowcase. Not so. What I do then is I'm going to take this, I'm actually going to fold it under, and I'm going to tuck it in underneath so that my ends are not exposed. This is how... So I'll do that and this is how I'll go to sleep. Yes, that little bit is exposed, but it's not my ends. And I really don't sleep on the back of my head. I sleep on the side. So that is all that I will do. And then in the morning, what I'll do is I will remove the scarf. Take that off. I'm actually I'm not going to keep this on, but right now I'm trying to keep my edges back. And I'll give myself a little shake. Fluff. Get my edge control on smooth down my edges and that's it <laughs> really very very low maintenance I find that carrying a bunch of product while you're on these little short trips is really kind of like useless it's mundane plus I carry a little bit more products for my skin so I want to have more space for that as well um, in my next video I'm going to share with you a little bit of what our room looks like and the time that I am spending with CJ while we're on this trip and my husband is working. But for now, signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a very blessed day.